All right, man, new video today. You see all the snow? Look at that. The winter is here. It has arrived in Minnesota. And we, don't worry about that. That's the, the Megatron voice thing, whatever. But you got my, yeah, yeah. We got, we got my guy, Joe Fabiano, man. Everybody, first and foremost, go follow his uh, podcast, man. The Wiseman Show is popping up right there. Go uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I just did an interview with him. He got two parts to his interview. One part we already did. That's uh, We did that, what, like last week? Couple weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. Go yep. go uh watch that video, man. That was some legendary talk we had up in there, man. So go subscribe, watch the video, and stay tuned. You gotta subscribe, otherwise you ain't gonna see part two. Exactly. So go you subscribe, man. Because tall guys got a story, and I know a lot of you know a little bit of the story. But, but they ain't heard all of it. This first interview was really dope, so make yep. sure you go follow the Wiseman show. T H E W I S E M E N yep. show. Go follow him on there and subscribe ASAP. Definitely subscribe and hit that bell, man. Get Welcome this. to Minnesota, man. Yeah, man, that's snow. definitely Minnesota, man. Cold. At least he's got his jacket on. He's yeah, I got the big Eskimo mook on. I ain't playing no games. I'm in here like this. I can get the igloo right, right now, man. Right. But this so, joint is nice. What year is this, bro? This is the Traverse. This is a 2018. Normally, you'd be like, why is this guy showing a Traverse right now? But right. The Traverse <laughs> kind of just revamped everything. Like you yep. said, it kind of has that Durango, that Tahoe. It look. do kind of got that look. Uh, it's a Durango. Ended up uh, smashing the buns of a Tahoe yeah, yeah. and then made this one right here. Y'all gonna be surprised on the inside though. Y'all gonna yeah. be surprised on the inside. The outside don't look like much, I know, but the inside, the inside where it's at, I didn't even know until I just got in it. And this is that high country too, so this is uh, the Mag Daddy fully loaded. I mean, this thing is super nice, super nice. Them pipes is crazy right there. Yep, they got the dual exhaust, six cylinder. Look at the ice falling off, boy. Minnesota is, has arrived. Look at that, three rows. You got the power flip down seats and stuff too. Oh, that's cold. Yep. Oh, that's tough. And they lay down flat. I need something like that for that cross country meet and greet. They'll go back up too. Oh yeah, that's raw right there, dog. Yep. Yeah, that's cold right there. They actually do got the kick off and kick shot lift gate. Or the little, like yep. when you this and it opens? Yep. Oh, that's cold. Look at the pipes, though. that's crazy. Check out that interior, man. Oh, that's nice right there. What's that, suede? Yep. Oh, that guitar. That, oh, that leather. What's the name of that leather right there? And it's tight. Look at that. Leather. That's like I don't know what the exact cold. name is on it, but it is a real leather, and they do got the real suede in here. Wow, this one ain't cold. You see, Joe got cold. He had to sit in the car. Look. <laughs> you played it off good, though. You played it off. <laughs> yeah, big heated steering wheel. That heated yeah. steering wheel come in clutch in Minnesota. Yeah, nice. Even yeah. though I got that on my Hellcat, I ain't got it on my Honda. So when I get in that joint, it'd be big freezing. So but they, it, they it got a big like, storage space too. Oh, yeah. you got the what's this right here? All oh, this for the gate. trunk. Yep. Wow, that's tough. What's that do? That'll open up the lift gate. Oh, okay. Why well, has it got like three fourths? It'll so open they up. got the three quarter setting. So if you're in your garage and you open up your uh, the lift gate all the way, so oh, like in the garage, so they got that three quarter setting where you actually manually manually set it. Oh, that's tough. So you can put it right where it doesn't hit the garage, so you can get the groceries and stuff. Oh, that's top. why yeah, that explains the three quarters. Of, bam. Okay, that's tough. It's good though. Got good storage. Look at the seats. The seats is ridiculous. They did a nice job, for real. The high country. I did the high country pickup too. Yeah, it's nice like exactly. this too. Yep. I actually like this better though, kind of low key. It's, uh, it's besides nice. the being a pickup, the pickups yep. are nice, but so this they, is cold. They brought a lot of Cadillac features: heated steering wheel, heated cold seats. Let me hop in this one. Look at that. They got Big wireless power seats. Charging. Wireless. Oh yeah, you showed me that right yep. there. That's cold. They got the Tahoe. Remember the Tahoe? How Let's you get can, in here. This is cold as hell. Oh, that's raw. They got the oh, look at gun. that too. Yep. That's cold, like in the Cadillac. Yep. That's cold. Then you go right back to the regular mirror. You got it. That's tough. Yeah, this is raw, dog. It's not bad, nigga. Leather wrapped around here. Yep. This is like for like the paddle shifter type manual thing. Manual mode, yep, you got it. Mm. Who would play with the manual mode in this joint? Stuff. This is that lane keep assist. Remember where yep. you drift over the line, it'll crack the seat, The seat vibrating. And it'll actually crack Oh, to stay in it. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Like the steering wheel, as long as it picks up those 3 m reflective lines. If yep. it doesn't pick up those 3 m reflective lines on the road, yep. you know, the white and yellow lines, it won't do it. But you'll see there's like a little green car that will pop up on here. Oh, okay. And if you drift over that line, it'll correct itself. If you swerve, it'll let you swerve so you have control. But if you drift over, it'll correct itself. Oh, it'll, know, it'll feel that you drifted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's tough. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. if you're on your phone texting or something. That's cool. Yeah, we ain't, you ain't supposed, to be, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, but just in case it got you, you know what I'm saying? Got the trailer. What's this? Is uh? So these are your different all-terrain modes and stuff like that. So if you're gonna be in the hill and mountain mode, you know, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, that kind of. This is a good off-road whip. This is. It's not too bad actually. You know, if you really want to do space is crazy. Off-road, you would have to, you know. That's crazy. It, but. That's tough though. This right here, this is big. Uh, it's a big center console. Yeah, but it's nice. this the leather. I like the way it's wrapped. Like you know, most of it be like loose. This is like real tight. Yo, and they don't strap down good. And this isn't all machinery. This is all hand stitched, which is cool. That's tough. This one is nice, man. I like they got the little leathers right here and everything. Yeah, that's that's green cold. Like, dude, yeah, like how it's just that. wrapped around, right? Exactly. They got like suede. They didn't even have to do that, but they just look way better with it. So I grew right up here too. Guy, but the one thing that's been driving me nuts about it is their displays. It's just the Fords, right? Plastic. 
Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yep, I just like, did a, a Super Duty um, F-250 Super Duty joint. That yeah. joint, it was hard plastic everywhere. Right, right, right. This, they flow the leather right up in them yep. everywhere it can, which is dope. I like yeah, it. where your eyes can see, because you got to think, this is where you're going to spend most of your time at. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's being on the inside. Yep. Push start. That yep. look good. You got two USBs. Yep. Another little charger got joint. The back. I like how this lights up too, like blue for like the AC type. Yeah, and then That's it'll actually digital go right here. the whole car too, the ambient lighting and all that. Oh, for real? All yeah. through the doorways and all that stuff? Yep. Oh, that's cold. You got the three, three C. Oh, you got the two sunroofs right there. Yep. Yeah, what a pan, pan, panoramic. What is it? No, panoramics are the big ones. The, yeah. You know the, the big straight solid one. piece one. Yep. But this is the. And how you say it again? What is it? I always mess up that name. The panoramic. Panoramic. Yep. That's like what it is. Porsche panoramic. Yeah. Okay. Porsche panoramic. Yeah. That's what I always mess up on that name. But yeah, man, this joint's nice. Yeah, that's cold. You see the snow up there? Look, ain't no games being played. Look, you can't see nothing out of that joint. This joint nice though, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it and be right back, man. You still got the plastic on this joint, brand brand yeah, new, huh? It is. Literally brand All right, bro. Well, I'll be right back. All right, my All right. All right. Now, before we get started, also that was my guy Joe. You know, like I said, go follow his uh, podcast immediately, man. The Wiseman Show. Real cool people, man. For real, for real. Look at. But after that, now let's get straight to the leg room, man. Look at. There go my leg room here. That's crazy. I'm 6'10", yo. Look at this. If I that's. I hit the gas a little bit, but if I put my foot between the brake pedal and the gas pedal, I can stand my leg all the way. This one, all the way right here between the uh, footrest and the brake pedal. And I'm all the way kosher. I put my legs up, I mean, this is where it get a little tight, but I don't drive like that anyway. If anything, I'll at least be like this, you know what I mean? So this is big cool right here. I'm, I'm cool and comfortable with this. Now let's get to the headroom. Headroom, I sit upright like this, driver position, 6'10", 220, and it's reverse, man. One more, you need this one. This joint is nice though. I ain't gonna lie, my headroom cool. This would be a good uh daily driver. Definitely if you got a family or something too. I didn't even know I had a third row seat because on the outside it don't look like I got a third row seat. But anyway, man, let's go on the drive, man. Alright, man, let me buckle up. Well, let me take this jacket off, man. It's kinda hot. And the inside now the seats got the seat warmers on and everything. I like that wireless charger down there. But also, by the way, man, buy y'all some merch, man. Tall guy car views. Get your hoodies now, your sweats now, your joggers now, you know, get your custom orders now. Hit my Instagram, DM me on Instagram for more about that, inquiries and all that, man. Uh, tall guy car views on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on there ASAP, man. But anyway, let's get in the driving. Let's go, man. Okay, here we go. All right, man. Taking off into Traverse. Smooth. First initial, you know, impression. Smooth. It's a brand new car. So it's going to be smooth. I would hope it's smooth anyway. One thing I like as I'm driving, I can see the backup camera just like, it's like live, like being live. Like having a camera back there just live and you just looking right at it. That's what it looks like. This joint's cold. I like that a lot. All right, let's take off and see what we got here, man. Mm, all wheel drive. Okay, got snow falling off, so that means you're going decent speed. This is a cool car, man. It's a Chevy Traverse. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to pull over and I'm going to talk about that engine with y'all because one thing uh, that I remember now that I didn't do with Joe Fabiano is I didn't pull over and I didn't get to show you the engine spec. So let me pull over and show you that real quick. All right, still got the wrapping right here too. Let's go ahead and pop that hood. All right, that look good, don't that's called Cajun Red. How good does that look? Let me open this thing right here. Ah, look at all that snow. All right, now, what we got here, this is the V6 3.6 liter. All right, now there is the um, turbocharged uh, Ecotec 2.0 liter, I believe. And But the thing is with this one right here, this one creates, I think the V6 is 305 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque if i'm not mistaken and the 2.0 liter that turbocharged one it's uh i believe that one is 255 uh, horsepower and 295 uh torque but this one right here is a 305 horsepower 206 um pound feet of torque motor so you know it's the v6 man i'm starting to know a little something yeah y'all ain't know don't sleep on me now everybody relax now real quick before i get back into the car and go on the drive one thing I like about this car, I've seen it on the road before, is these headlights right here, like this strip, and those three things right there look real good, like they light up real good. I think every car game is really killing the, high, uh, the headlights right now, but one game, or one car company that had that going before everybody, I feel like, was Audi, like Lamborghini, stuff like that. But I feel like Audi, when I think of those kind of lights, Audi is the first thing that pops in my light, in my head, I mean. But, um... All, everybody's lights, every car manufacturer should have those lights, should be standard on every whip now. You know, if you ain't got that, you still got the flip yellow bathroom light bulbs, and get them joints out of here. But you got the nice wheels, chrome joints. Even though I'm not really even in the chrome no more, it still looks good on this kind of car because the person who buys this car, I think would like chrome wheels. Like I said, this is the high country, and this is the all-wheel drive joint. It's nice. Got the little back windshield wiper. Look at all that snow. 
Minnesota, man. Let's get in the car and let's go on this drive, man. Oh, pardon me, real quick, my bad. Let's go ahead and shut that door. Let's not go on that drive right now. Let's go over the price, what they want for this car. $52,000 base price. Total with this one, $53,460. Not bad, not bad at all. 17 miles uh, to the gallon in the city, 25 highway. Uh, 20 combined. Let's open the back, man. See how practical this backseat is. This is, I like this. Uh, the brown ain't even my color, but I ain't gonna lie to you. The way they got this one set up, I actually really do like it. This looks very practical. Got a lot of storage space, a lot of cubby holes to put stuff in. Let's see, let's hop in. My seat set for me, 6'10 person in the front. I ain't gonna lie. Not that much leg room. Let me shut that. Oh, it almost crammed my whole knee. But anyway, this is where I'm at. I ain't gonna lie. I'm snug right here. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Oh, you got a little. Little digital joint right there. That's actually really nice. Temperature control. Oh, that's dope. Fan speeds. Oh, that's dope. Temperatures. All that. Yeah. Seat, heated seats back here. Little plug-in joint. Another two USBs for the battery and the little storage compartment. That's actually a deep uh, storage compartment right there. Oh, hang up there. Look at that. Got the little. Of course, you got these right here. You know what I mean? You got the sunroof right here. Lights here. Oh, they got the um the good lights, not the bathroom light bulbs. Another one's right here. Excuse me. Look at these seats, man. These are nice. I ain't gonna lie. And you can fold these down and all that good stuff. Still got this, the um, mats in here. Brand new car. All right. Now, let me get back here. Now, first off, let me show you my headroom. Look. This is my headroom. Sitting upright and everything. You can lean the seat back to about right here. And then I'm cool if I do it like this and with my legs like this. But if I sit with my legs like so, my legs are real snug and I got bad knees, man. I can't sit like that too long but lean back like this i'm cool but my legs will start to bother me but if i sat upright oh where's that thing all right oh hold on let me there we go all right cool it's not okay there we go all right headroom cool i mean nothing to brag about you know or make a commercial or nothing about but i'm 16 i wouldn't even be in the back so i'll usually be in the front anyway but let me hop in the back right here let's see what that that third row seat talking about all right Oh, they kind of finagle with the back seat right here. Oh, maybe because you can lay it down. They didn't want stuff to mess up the leather. Oh, that's not a finagle, then. It's actually pretty nice. And you got, oh, you got another USB right here. And you got the storage uh, cubby hole. And you got a cup holder here, here, and here, and a USB for this person over here. I actually like that one over here, one over there. That's dope. And you got the good leather seats back here, too. What's this for? Oh, wow, that's dope. For the middle person? Oh, that's I like that. Never seen that before with it up there. But yeah, here go my leg room right here. About the same as it is in the second part. I mean, this right here ain't no extension really happening unless I went like this. But the good thing about sitting back here is you could go like this. Now, this is where I'd be cool at, like this. Now, with my legs like this and my headroom like this, I'm all the way cool. Let me shut that light off. I'm all the way cool like this. And this is the thing. The seats are, the seats are comfortable and the leather is good material. I don't see this getting all bubbly on you real soon or anything like that. But, oh yeah, first off, Buy the merch, man. Tall guy car views. Buy you a hoodie. Buy you the joggers. I got it all, man. Get the merch, man. Support the movement, man. I really appreciate y'all supporting me this far and everything that I've been doing, man. It's it's big time appreciated. I can't words can't even express how much I appreciate y'all, man, for real. But this is how I'm sitting back here, man. It's actually a dope whip. And if I sit back here like this and look up front, this is actually a big car on the inside. But it doesn't look this big on the outside. So I think that's actually a pro about this car. Because when you get a car with this much room on the inside, it usually looks about this big on the outside. So I think that's actually pretty dope. But let's hop up out of here. Right. Hold on. Sheesh. All right, now the hop out ain't so easy. But oh, I hopped out anyway. Let's go on this drive, baby. All right, now real quick before I go on this drive. I know I keep saying that, but real quick. I'm gotta, I gotta mention this. This digital screen, I said this before, and uh, I think it was a, I don't know what it was. It was, it was one of the Chevy trucks I did, man. Um, if you haven't checked out those old Chevy truck reviews, go check them out ASAP. But this digital screen, I actually like that. I'm not a big fan of analog gauges. You all know this. If you're new to my channel, you know now. I do not like the regular analog gauges like this or this. But one thing that made it kind of cool about this car is you can see like the lights trimming around it. And here, and how it lights up red on it, at least they did that much. You know what I mean? So... It looks presentable at least, but I still don't like it. I, I just think, like how this looks right here, why can't every car just have this over there? Like, it's Chevy, you know, Ford, it doesn't matter if it's Dodge, whatever. Every one of them companies have enough money to just throw this over there. Stop being cheap and trying to save it for the next 10 year model down the road. Put this over there, you know what I mean? And as far as the steering wheel goes, 
I never like this steering wheel right here, man, to be real with y'all, because it kind of feels like Braille. You know what I mean? No shots at the at the blind people in the world, you know what I mean? Um, but this is uh it just feels like Braille to I don't I don't like it, even though it's not bubbly bump, it kinda is, you know. And this I like the heated steering wheel. The heated steering wheel work real good on this car, but you got like all this other stuff. And I mean the the features are nice, Bluetooth and all that stuff, but I just don't like this right here because I could see this like getting real beat up over time and then like the button being like all messed up, you know what I mean? So yeah, I know I spit a little bit, but it's okay. But I can see that just getting messed up and pushed in and getting raggedy over time, so I just don't like it. And this steering wheel altogether, the the like 92 grips and the beefiness of it is cool. I get that part, you know what I'm saying? But I do not like how this steering wheel looks like it, it's two parts of the steering wheel. Like, this is like one part and this right here. Like, I don't know. I just don't like it, man. All right, but one thing I can't say about this car is this car was, uh, it was built very cool, you know what I mean? Like, I, I give it more credit now being in it than I did before I actually like gave it a chance and like looked inside the car. I tell you right now, I, I wouldn't have thought, and I feel like half of the people watching this video, unless you've seen this car, wouldn't think this car looks as good as it do on the inside as it does on the outside. Like, you know what I mean? Because the outside, exterior design wise, ain't really nothing, you know, crazy to me. You know what I mean? I think the Durango looks better, you know, and it got the third row seat and everything. So I, I would get a Durango over this. But one thing that this has going over the Durango is the, like tight brown leathers. I mean, you get the red in the Durango, you know, but like i don't know i i just like the way this one's set up better if 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 i had to choose between a red durango with the, like the red leather i would pick that over this but if i had to choose between like the regular black with the red you know stitching or whatever over this i would pick this you know what i mean so but one thing i like about the durango is uh one the screen is good in this one as it is in durango but the the gauges I like the speedometer and all that, and the steering wheel I like better in the Durango. I don't know if that's the competitor or not, but that's something I would uh, cross shop it with is like this or a Durango. But it does seem and appear to have like these are, it's better built on the inside on the quality, the seats and everything like, I don't know, they, the, the seats are wrapped up real tight leather, it don't seem like it's going to loosen up on you like some of, some of the Dodge products do sometimes, you know what I mean? Like in my Hellcat you sit back in somebody long enough it tight be like air bubbly on the seat. This don't look like it had that problem because it's so tightly built on there. Like, I don't know. It seems like the, the build quality as far as the seats and like the little touches around here are better than they are on the Dodge. But I don't know. Nice car altogether, man. Let me buckle up and go on a drive. And at the same time, this car is what, 53,000? Forest Lake Chevy Cadillac, man. That's where I come up to do these reviews. My guy, Joe Fabiano. Make sure y'all go follow his podcast immediately and watch the interview that I did with him, man. Um, that was a legendary interview. That was my first interview I ever did uh, since I had a YouTube, and they were asking me some really good questions, and it was actually really dope. I had a good time, man. But, um, yeah, let's take off in this joint. It got park, reverse, neutral drive, and then uh, L for, I think, lower gear or whatever. But um, it's still nice. And one thing that's dope about this car, it's a Chevy, but it don't got no... No key thing. I like how I just got the five. That's way better. I like that much more. You know what I mean? So it's a good car. But like I said, it's got it's got a little bit of horsepower, but it's not made to go super fast. This is a good family driver. Like I, I pull off here, and it's cool. It ain't, like I said, it ain't gonna kick up no dust. But this ain't what you get in this car for. You know what I mean? It's a it's a good car to have your family in. At the same time, it's still a little bit fancy. Give you a little bit of luxurious feel. It's a nice car, man. Not really much else to say about it. You know, the driving, the steering, I ain't gonna lie, when I was driving over here, it's tight loose booty steering, you know what I mean? But it's, that's what you're gonna get in any truck for the most part. No truck you get in that I've ever been in is gonna feel like a sports car. So, and I think since I'm always in my Hellcat, you know what I mean? And um, driving Corvette, Corvettes, uh, Aston Martin DB11s, you know, cars like that, of, of that kind of sort, it kind of makes me, uh, when I get in these kind of cars, I notice immediately, that's one of the first things I always notice about a car when I do a car review, is, um, excuse me, is the steering, the steering feedback, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, you know, but it's um, it's just not super structured like a sports car would be, like, a, like I'm used to, even though my car's a muscle car, it still has real good responsive uh, steering and feedback when you're driving, but this right here, this got responsive for what it is. You know what I mean? It's not just all bad. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nice car. It's an armrest. This armrest, I ain't gonna lie though. Even though le leather's like super tightly wrapped, it's tight a little firm. You know what I mean? Like I, I couldn't see myself just like, you know, maybe it's because it's so brand new that you just gotta break it in a little bit. You know, just put your elbow on it a few times, put some pressure on it. But it's tight a little bit too firm on the on the armrest thing, man. But yeah, man. Oh yeah, real quick. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Underscore Organic with a K. Go follow his YouTube channel ASAP, man. He's off in uh, Vegas right now going crazy. <laughs> Shout out to him. Go follow his YouTube channel ASAP, man. Yeah, but um, 
like I said, man, this is it. This is really it, man. Nothing really else to talk about this car. And this car got memory seats. I love, love, love memory seats because it's the most little, but yet the most inconvenient feature you could, or not inconvenient, convenient. It's the most little, but yet the most convenient feature that you could have on a car, a truck, or whatever. Because, like, when I get in my girl's Jeep, for y'all don't know, if you haven't watched her video when I went and I did a, a review on my girl's 2014 Jeep Overland, you know, um, with the new revised body and the nice headlights and all that, go check out that uh, video immediately. But one thing about it is when we drive that car, like, my Hellcat don't have a memory seats and my Honda don't have a uh, memory seats. And obviously, my motorcycle is just that one seat. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Let me see who it is. This is my girl right here. Oh. Well, I guess I won't be answering that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, like I said, man, um, so one one thing I always notice that I like when we take uh, my girl Jeep is the fact that it's like I can get in and just hit one. And then I'd be her sitting there, scoot the seat all the way up, you know, my girl a little short, you know, scoot the seat all the way up, get in her position. And then I, and then like if we switch seats, all she got to do is hit two and it goes right back to my seat saying, I don't got to sit here and hold the button for five minutes, then adjust this and then adjust the steering wheel. Like it's just comes the way I left when I had it, you know what I mean? So memory seats, man, that was, whoever came up with that invention, man, they were genius for that, man, because that's a huge convenience right there, man. It is inconvenient not to have it, but it's not that you can survive without it, but Nah, I want memory seats in every car I get. And I don't care what kind of car it is. Muscle car, sports car, truck, SUV, whatever. I want I want the memory seats in everything I drive, man, for sure. But, man, just like that, man, this review is over. It's done. Nothing else to really talk about, man. Uh, nice car. Nice whip, man. You know what I mean? For, for what you need it for. Now, don't get me wrong. You're not about to be breaking no necks with this joint. You're not about to be uh, breaking no uh, drag strip times. You're not about to be doing nothing spectacular or kicking up no kind of dust in this whip. But you're going to have a good, you know, a good family car for sure. And on top of that, on top of having a good family car, you get like, you know, this is like, I don't know, it's like a little bit classy too. So, you know, you get that, that feel for it too, man. But just like that, um, I'm back at this dealership. I got to take this thumbnail, man. And a uh, good car, man, for a 53000 uh, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a tough decision. But just like that, man, this video's over. It's done. Hope it was informative for y'all, man. I'll holler at y'all in the next video, man. I'm gone.